Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this lab is very easy. Basically, we have to just make copy the command from the lab instructions and just make place it on the cloud shell. So just make come back over here and just make activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, just make come back to the lab instructions, click on the task number one. And from here, just make copy this command, come back over here, click on this got it. Now just make paste and hit enter. Wait for a second and then just make click on authorize. Now just make wait for this command get execute. And it's done now again come back over here scroll down and from the task number two copy this first command come back over here paste hit enter then copy this second command come back over here paste hit enter then copy this third command just make copy like this come back over here wait and it's done now just make run the over here like this way then copy this fourth command copy like this come back over here paste hit enter so we are done with the task number two also now what you do we have to just make create a vertex ai notebook so just make come back over here close this tab like this way and now here just make search for the vertex ai just make click over here now click on this enable all recommendation api and then just make click on this workbench now just make click on this user managed notebook And then click on this create over here make sure that you have to choose a user managed notebook okay now just scroll down now here you can see advanced option just me click over here like this way okay now first thing what you have to check you have to just check the region for me the given region is us central one and the zone is us central one c for you it might be different so just me choose accordingly that so just me come back over here and from here just me choose accordingly your lab instruction page okay now just me scroll down now for the environment just me click over here as you can see environment it must be tensorflow 2.6 this one because if you come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see it mentioned over here in future if you are able to find a different environment that time you have to just me choose that okay now for the machine type just me scroll down here you can see machine type just me click over here make sure that it must be e2 series and for the machine type it must be e2 standard 4 because on the lab instruction page it mentioned okay now once you're done with all these three changes just me scroll down and then just me click on this create now it will take a couple of minutes to create a notebook so just me wait for that And it's finally done. Now just me click on this open Jupyter lab like this way. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. Meanwhile, just me come back to the lab instructions and just me click on this check my progress. You will get a green tick over here without any issue. Now the last command that you have to copy, you have to just me copy this command, come back over here. Now just me wait. Then just me click on this terminal over here like this way and just me run this last command over here. 
paste and hit enter now just simply wait for this command get execute and once it's done you are done with this lab so just simply wait for a couple of seconds And it's finally done. Now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number 4, you will get a score without any issue. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. And it's done.